Well, there is still cleanup happening today after storm damage in northern Arizona Sunday night. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham is joining us now live in the area where more work is happening to repair some damaged power poles. And Jade, what is set to get underway there? Hey, good morning. Yes, so crews actually with APS already at work trying to fix these poles. You can see there is, um, if you look hard enough, I know it's a little bit of a ways down, but there is a bucket truck down there. It actually just finished a pole and it just moved down one. And there's more crews even further down Pinnacle Peak Road as well, but they are trying to fix these power poles. And this is all because of the storms that we saw on Sunday. You know, we saw some pretty significant storms all across the valley. Some areas were hit harder than others. And in those areas that were hit pretty hard, there was some damage. Uh, actually, I took a wrong turn getting up here and I actually was driving along and noticed that some of the trees were still down and snapped. So, you know, some areas were hit pretty hard. This area is Pinnacle Peak Road and Tatum. Uh, this is where APS says 27 power poles were toppled over. It initially knocked out electricity in the area and APS crews say they were able to restore power to customers in about two and a half hours on Sunday. But even with the power being restored, poles need to be replaced. That's what APS says. So crews have been out here removing debris and preparing the area for the installation. That installation is expected to take place today Day, or it is already taking place now. It's unclear though how long this installation will take. Right now, Pinnacle Peak Road is closed off to through traffic, obviously for safety measures for not just the crews, but for the people in their cars as well. It's unclear how long Pinnacle Peak Road will be closed. So you want to stay with 12 News for the latest. For now, reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News Today in AZ.